Hello everyone, a few days ago I was at the art shop and I saw this Fabriano 5 50% cotton watercolor paper and I thought to myself, hey, I have watercolor paper at home that is made with 0% cotton, 25% cotton, now I have 50%, I also have 100%, so I'm going to test all these papers and see what's the difference uh, between them. Let's look at the paper I'll be using today. This is fluid watercolor paper, 0% cotton. By the way, fluid, they have fluid 100, which uses 100% cotton paper, but this is the one without cotton. Daler Rowney Aquafine, 0% cotton. All the paper I'll be using today are 300 GSM paper. Fabriano Studio, 25% cotton. Fabriano 5, 50% cotton. Arches. 100% cotton and Fabriano Artistico 100% cotton. I'm going to use the same test for all the paper. So the first test is to create a blend from color to the white of the paper on a wet surface. So this is wet on wet technique. And the colors that I'm using today, the paint that I'm using today, it's uh, White Nights. This is Cadmium Orange. So I'm going to tilt the paper and have the paint flow down. The second test will be to test for glazing. So I'm going to paint this rectangle here. Wait for it to dry and later overlay this with phthalo blue. Third test will be a color blend from cadmium orange to cadmium red. So let me use a lot of water to make sure that it blends properly. The last test is to charge in a color when the wash is still wet and see how the color blends or moves. All right, everything has dried. So we have 0% fluid, Dale Rowney, 25% Fabriano, 50% Fabriano. 100% Arches and Fabriano Artistico. Now at a glance, the most obvious uh, thing that I notice is it's so much easier to create color blends with cotton paper. Color blend or color transition on the Arches paper, it's very smooth. And I'm not able to see the individual horizontal brush strokes that I used to paint this blend. There are no hard edges. It's a very smooth, very soft blend. And here, these strokes, they were painted wet on wet. And I can see they are trying to move out, trying to blend the edges at the, well, these are soft edges. And this blend quite nicely into the yellow wash. Color blend on Fabriano Artistico performs just as well compared to Arches. And the edges here are very soft as well. Very nice. Let's take a look at 50% cotton paper. So the color blend here, um, it's quite good. So transition is very soft. And here wet on wet, the edges um, seems to be soft, but it looks like there are some um, issues with this paper. So for this paper you can actually see the direction of the paper grain. It actually goes in this direction and the way the color blends or spreads out um, it's a bit more messy compared to Arches and Fabriano. You can see how the colors how they spread out. They spread out like lines extending out from the main wash. This is Fabriano Studio with 25% cotton. So you can see the color blend here. It's not as smooth compared to the 50% or the 100% cotton. And here, um, the edges, well, they seem to be quite soft. However, on closer look, you can see the blend. It's not as soft. You can sort of see the red streaking out. You have red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. And here it's more obvious. This is not very soft. You can see these streaking lines. 
just for comparison again you see this is Arches and this is Fabriano Artistico this is Dela Rowney Aquafine 0% cotton so the color blend it's not smooth at all and not just that I can sort of see the horizontal strokes and this is actually not a case of me using too much water because this effect you see here it's also there on the 25% cotton paper as well as on the 0% fluid paper now when you add paint into a wet wash or, or charge in another color you can see the color it doesn't blend out as much so the color is just stationary it's immobile so with this paper it's really difficult to blend colors you can see this very obvious edge i mean the edge is still faded but this is a very clear edge and the dots they don't spread out as much by the way this was painted with the paper tilted at an angle and even so the paint it doesn't move down as much this is fluid paper so we can see the horizontal brush strokes and we can see the color blends not as smooth compared to 50% and 100% cotton paper the edges here are quite soft not bad you can still see the edge quite noticeably even though the edge is actually faded and check out the dots they don't move uh, they don't spread out that much even though you can see the feather edges this again was also painted with the paper tilted at an angle and the paint doesn't move much on wet surface the edges are soft but the paint doesn't move much again just for comparison purposes this is arches so you can see how the paint actually flows down in this direction and the edge it's very soft you can still see the edge but it's much softer compared to here when it comes to creating gradated washes like this um, all the papers uh, they work quite well let's compare glazing now now one thing i notice about 0 25 and 50 percent cotton watercolor paper is when you lay down a wash on dry surface the edge is very sharp you can see how sharp this edge is here it blends because this part wasn't dry yet but you can see this is very sharp and here as well that was zero percent earlier that was zero percent cotton earlier this is 25 percent so the edges still very sharp occasionally you see these rough edges 50 percent cotton paper edges here very sharp occasionally we can see these rough edges and this is 100 percent cotton arches watercolor paper so you can see the edges all the way from the top here it's very rough all the way down the reason is because this paper it's quite thirsty so it will soak in the water from the brush very quickly and that creates the rough dry edge that you see here this is Fabriano Artistico 100% cotton watercolor paper so you can see the edges very rough now the interesting thing is when I glaze over this wash which was already dry you can see the edge now uh, it's very sharp on both sides but when it was on the paper it's rough and then it suddenly becomes very sharp and when it goes onto the paper again it becomes very rough performance on the arches watercolor paper it's more consistent so we have this rough edge all the way down on the paper as well as on the dry paint the reason why non-cotton watercolor paper have this sharp edge is because the paper doesn't absorb water as well compared to cotton paper or it could be because of the sizing that uh, it doesn't absorb water and because it doesn't absorb water the water will remain on the surface and you see the water produce this sharp edge so these are the differences between 0 25 50 and 100 percent cotton paper of course there are going to be other attributes that affect the performance of paint on paper such as the sizing on the paper 
and also the paint that you use but I use the same paint here so it really comes down to the quality of the paper the cotton and the sizing out of the six the best watercolor paper 100% cotton arches watercolor paper this is best because it's very easy to create color blends like this and when you paint wet on wet the colors they blend out really soft uh, really nice and when it comes to glazing the edges they are very consistent on paper as well as on paint the runner-up paper is Fabriano Artistico this paper is only let down by this strange hard edge effect when you are glazing and also the, when it comes to charging in wet on wet the colors they don't blend as soft compared to arches on closer look it looks like Fabriano Artistico also has some issues with streaking lines next runner up Fabriano Studio 5 the limitation here is the very obvious paper grain streaking lines when you are painting wet on wet and this uh, glazing with really hard edges as for this three zero percent and 25 percent cotton watercolor paper these are great if you do not paint wet on wet because um, if you do wet on wet the paint is not going to spread it's not going to blend very nicely so these are papers that I will use to create color swatches actually so if you want to create smooth color transitions it's going to be very challenging with those three paper all right I'm going to scan all this and put them on my blog so that you can see the differences in higher resolution by the way this is the second batch of tests that I have made prior to making this video I have also tested out the paper and the performance of the paint on the paper here is consistent with what you saw in this video all right thanks for watching i hope this video is helpful see you in the next one bye